This is Car Guys New England, your YouTube channel for anything automotive. This is Car Guys New England, and today we're going to talk about putting a wire wheel in an ENG Classic Continental kit uh, for your lowrider. Uh, this is something that there hasn't been too much information posted about it online. So uh, I was just going to show you guys kind of the basics of how it's done. And uh, here is a custom uh, ENG Classics uh, Continental kit or fifth wheel kit, as you call it. Um, I purchased this brand new. However, I had to make modifications to it. Uh, now, where I did order it new for my uh, car, uh, the bottom section, which I'll get to in a minute, was already pre-cut for the shape of the bumper. Uh, but to get into this a little bit, uh, one of the several things you're going to need you're obviously going to need the eng classic um, you know fifth wheel kit uh, also the bucket that goes along with it um, but one of the other things you're going to need is a uh, 14 by 6 uh, and not a by 7 but you want the 14 by 6 um, because of the actual um, width of the wheel it's a little shorter so it gives you a little bit more room to play with the locking mechanism stuff like that um, you are going to need to modify this uh, chrome piece and basically cut it so the the bead of the wheel will fit. So you can see I've notched it out on there to actually fit this. Now uh, let's go over uh, what exactly we need to do to put the wheel in. Uh, so the first thing is the original comes with basically a cheap hubcap on it. So you just pop that off. And then at that point, you're going to very carefully cut the uh, the plastic of the fake wheel housing. Um, so let's show you what's going on in the back. All right. So here's the kit from the back. And obviously, you don't see it because it's so close to the vehicle. But one of the first things that you're going to notice is that the entire um, bead of the, the rim, I actually cut it off with a sawzall right all the way to the nipples on the spokes uh, in order to give us enough room. So at that point, um, what I did was I took the adapter and I lined that up with this piece of steel and I welded lug nuts on the other side of the uh, this so you can just, the rim just holds in with these two bolts. Um, and then what I did was I welded and I made brackets so that you have this one across, you have one down and then one there. And what it's doing is it just stabilizes the rim in there and then there's just a bolt coming through uh, that holds that bottom chrome piece on and then that. Um, also, I made this bracket underneath. Uh, that was an unsuccessful attempt to come up with a bracket. Uh, that where you could actually use the factory bracket that didn't work out too well so what I end up doing is I use this strap and then I use tie downs within the bottom bumper piece to hold it down but it's a big pain in the butt as far as uh, you know if you need to get gas in the car obviously that's you know kind of an issue but um, but anyways yeah that's that's how this part goes together and I'll, I'll show you guys the mods on the uh, the other part and uh, here's the bottom bucket uh, it looks kind of ugly here I have to clean it up this car's been sitting for a while folks uh, but what I did was I had cut this section um, but that way the rim could fit so there'd be enough room for it to close and also I had to make it make a hole actually in the bumper itself so the the continental kit could close and then I relocated the bracket here. Uh, however, that didn't work out too well, so that was something that I was planning on redoing anyways. Uh, as far as the side profile of the bucket, uh, it's already cut for our Caprice, so it fits nicely. But uh, in a nutshell, that's how a fifth wheel kit fits onto a lowrider. And uh, anyways, thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you guys found it informative. Uh, if you did, be sure to give the video a like. If you have questions or comments, anything like that, be sure to comment down below. And I'd uh, be more than happy to answer questions that anybody has about, you know, doing that on their, their uh, fifth wheel kit. But again, uh, this is Car Guys New England. Until next time, take care.